link to backend database. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check out our other how-to videos from this channel. Also, subscribe and share. It will be helpful for the channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create link tables. Uh, these link tables will be connecting to the backend environment. And, um, and in addition, I will show you how to get sample data database. There are two requirements for this task. One being SQL Server Express or SQL Server. Uh, if you need the expression, the free, sh the free version, you can download this from Microsoft.com. You can uh, also download the Management Studio from the same location. One of the main benefits of using Microsoft Access Database is its ability to connect to different backend database. Uh, this, is, this is great since we can now focus on coding instead of developing database. For instance, a database architecture can start developing a database while another programmer is working on the uh, VBA code for interacting with the upcoming database. Once the uh, database is ready, he can then link to the backend database and create link tables. Let's see how we can uh, accomplish this. So here, let's type in uh, SQL Server Management Studio. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm connecting this to uh, my local uh, SQL Server Express. As you can see, that's the uh, instance name, and uh, connecting as the uh, Windows authentication. So in this database. Uh, the listing here, we don't have any database to work with. So let me show you how to get the sample database. We are going to say SQL Server. There you go. Uh, SQL Server database sample. Hit enter. And here you come to the Microsoft. Oh, let me see. Here, Adventure works down here. Sample. So click on that link. It's a uh, docs dot microsoft dot com so let's go there you scroll down you will see a list of uh, different databases so we are interested in the lightweight we are not doing the warehousing or the uh, OLTP we want just the bare bone and I'm gonna grab the second one here the 2017 uh, obviously, you can grab that one as well. I'm just going to grab this guy. And we're going to save this in our, uh, in our work folder. As you can see, I downloaded a couple of them already. So we're going to save this in project. And uh, let's uh, create a new folder. It's called link table and then put that file in there and leave it let me see I'm gonna change that name instead of uh, parenthesis one I'm just gonna take that guy out that way it's one so that we got the the backup version now let's pop back to the uh, management right click on the databases and here we say restore database so we're going to restore a database 
click on this device and then right here on the dot 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 click open so this guy opens up and is looking for the backup file so we're going to add the backup file and here we are going to go to our project right here open that up and let's see the link table right there and we can see all file that we just saved all right highlight that select that and click ok and that's added to the list now you can have multiple of these guys all right we are going to click on ok and that we have it so now let's continue okay it's done dead base adventure works 2017 restored successfully now we have a database that we can work with you can see these tables it begins with the cells dot address and so on and so forth so we're going to we're going to try to uh, uh, link to these guys now we're going to open up our access create new blank database and let's go to that folder look for the link tables folder we just created and there we're going to name link table now you can change its name to to your liking but I'm just going to say link table and here we are not interested in anything but connecting to the backend database using the string now in order to do the uh, using the uh, file uh, ODBC file we are going to need to create a file uh, that way we can link to so let's go back to the uh, website here I'm going to close out that tab and let's look for um, ODBC connection there you go I just saw connection string let's see let's see what we can find here uh, let's see what we can find let's go to this guy let's see what we can find yep let's yeah let's go to this top one it's uh it's uh docs dot microsoft uh connect to an odbc data source so we can click on that guy and scroll down to see if we find any string that we can use with now this uh the example there they're trying to create a dsn through the management so we're not gonna we're not interested in doing that if you did this you would have to do that to all uh, uh, PCs alright so we are not going to do that I think that's not uh, a good way of connecting but it, it will work so we are interested in creating a file itself so let's go down keep going we are not interested in those keep, just keep going oh here and here we are interested in this right here the console version so we're going to highlight this guy oops too far all right now let's open up our uh, notepad um, notepad and um, we're going to paste that in there oops not there uh, thought I grabbed that guy already let's try that again copy and back to a notepad and this is what we are interested in all right I'm going to um, separate this guy down uh, and I'll show you why uh, you can have this uh, semicolon or not it doesn't matter so I'm going to take those out um, now to find this uh, the ODBC first you're gonna have to uh, on top here you're gonna need to put a bracket here to signify ODBC ODBC there you go and then um, and then here we need to find out what version do we have 
All right. Now, in order to do that, we're going to go to the control panel. Now, if you don't know how to get to there, let me uh, let me close out that guy. You go to control panel, type in control, and hit enter, and go to the administrative tools, and then the ODBC data source, the 64-bit version. Now, if your PC is 32-bit, you won't have to go there, but I'm interested in my version. So we're going to, oops, we're going to double click on that. And right here on the connection pull, pulling, you see the latest one, it says uh, ODBC driver 17 for SQL Server. So we're going to, I don't think you can copy from there. Uh, yeah. So we're going to type that guy in our connection string. So it's, um, so I'm going to take that bracket out, take this guy out, and change that to 17. And that's all you need. All right. Now the server, you can leave that as is. Or here's the best way to do it. Go back to your SQL management. You click on this uh, connection right here, this uh, little uh, uh, plug right here, and it pops up. That is the server name. So we're going to right click, copy, or control C. Back to all notepad and paste that there. there. The, the database, uh, go back to your uh, management. I'm gonna, we're going to cancel that. We're not interested in creating a new one. If you right click on this guy, this name, this database, go uh, click on rename. We are not renaming. We're just, we're just going to copy the, uh, the name. So control C hit escape key and that just escape from it now back to our notepad we're going to replace that with that all right being a local um, you don't have to use the trusted connection uh, however you could all right so i'm going to take that out i'm not interested okay we are going to save this guy um in our um, in our folder, let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna take that out for now. Yep. So uh, let's see. Save as. Now in here, where is that link? Yeah, right there. Link table or table. If you're gonna, if you're gonna use the DSN extension. You would have to uh, surround this by the double quotation, all right? And that will save the file as DSN. Now, if you didn't do that, the file name would be sqlconnection.dsn.txt, all right? So be sure to put quotation in there without txt. Let's uh, save. All right, let's go back to our folder and see if that did it and that did it see there and this has the little um, uh, icon in the in the front and that's that now is the fun time let's link this guy so back to our access database this is going to be a short video let's click on this external data and it says new data source click on that and you'll see a drop down list we are going to connect to from database to SQL Server, all right. And here we're not going to import. We're going to link to, all right. So let's select the link to data source and then, okay. And here in this uh, look in uh, documents, we click on that guy. We're going to go to C drive, access project. And look for the link tables that folder. There's the connection. So we're going to click on this guy. And it's going to ask you for the password. All right. Being from your own computer. Now, if you did this on a network, you would need a login ID and all. All right. But being it on your local uh, PC or your laptop, as in my case, I'm going to select Windows Integrated. All right. 
and then we're not going to worry about the server SPN. So, um, so here, see how it defaulted to uh, to this adventure adventure works, and that's because the file specified it. If you look in here, see there. So access already knows. Hey, we are referring to this database. All right, and then we just click OK, and then it pops up. And if you go down, these are the system information for that database, and we are interested in these tables. All right. So if you look at these cells, LT lightweight dot, and refer back to the management, you see the same names. Uh, tables see these guys you see the same thing so let's pop back we're gonna we highlight that guy we highlight this guy this guy this guy and you can select as many as you want all right uh, one uh, one caution do not select this systems uh, information you don't need to because we we'll, you don't want to be doing funky stuff with them all right so just select the tables and then click OK now, right here is the uh, reserve air. One of the tables might have uh, funny stuff in it, all right? So it does not recognize, but that's okay. Just continue, all right? And here, it say, hey, this guy does not have the uh, ID. So if you if we look in the, oh, yeah, yeah this is the, uh, this is the uh, view. So the view does not have an ID, all right? And if you want to make that an ID, so let's look in here. There's a view in there. Uh, it's called sales v get all categories. Sales uh, v. Oh, I, I, you know what? I selected this guy as well. Okay. So, but that's okay. You can select this. And if you look in here, the views do not have uh that that a data table definition all right so and that's the reason why um uh, it pops in so we're not going to worry about that we're not going to select anything we just click okay and here is another view all right likewise the view does not have a data table uh definition so we're not going to select anything here we just continue and then we've got one two three views one, two, three, three views. Same as this guy. One, two, three. Uh, signify as uh, V there. Let's pop back. And let's see if we get anything from here. There you have it. It's going to be nice and sweet and short. All right. So what you can do with this guy. Uh, since we see that. And let's see. Let's see if we can do this. I'm going to... Uh, uh, do a little quick uh, demonstration doing a form wizard I'm gonna get the uh, first name last name the company name and I think that's good now how about phone number all right continue we're going to do uh, a form with list of this uh, these selected fields uh, we're gonna do column and then we're not gonna worry about the name and if you are right here on the real bottom, the record navigation, if you click next, you can see the advance to the next records. All right. Uh, now, in later on, when I start showing you how to develop the application, we are not going to use the, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, database navigation. We have a better way of doing that. All right. And this obviously is bonded to that table so if you go to design view you can see the record on the right here it says record source it bonds to that table all right so whatever you change here will affect the back end here as well there you have it that's uh that's nice and short nice and easy thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe like share and hit that bell and also comment below and if you need help inbox me thanks again